G'day everyone, I'm Ash, welcome back to, well, this is Plane Mechanic Simulator. We are servicing the Tiger Moth still, and uh, in fact, we're on to the next mission after we left off. So I hope you've been enjoying, or hope you did enjoy the first uh, video of Plane Mechanic Sim. I enjoy this game far too much, as I'm really into the maintenance of aircraft. Uh, our tasks here are to fix the propeller, and of course... The ye old, good old one is refuel the aircraft. So we're going to do two missions today. Hopefully we'll do it in a relatively timed manner. As a, uh, a couple of Spitfires fly over. Oh man, that sound. Um, during the morning check, I noticed that the propeller isn't tracking correctly. Please fix the problem. That sounds like the thing behind the spinner. Uh, so this item right here. Uh, so this is the spinner. Um... So behind it, there is a screw that feeds into the engine as I get bonked on the head by a propeller. <laughs> so, we're just going to go in here, and I assume we've got to just take off this. Really? That's it? I thought there'd be more screws than that. Okay, now this is the spinner back, pl uh, back plate. A little hard. English is hard, okay. Especially when you've had a few drinks. So again, this part uh, is it gets taken off. And then you'll see, this is the inner housing of the actual propeller itself. So now we need to identify, we can actually get in there. It was the aircraft screw hub that was damaged. And the crankshaft seems to be fine. So now we just hit the minus button. No. What do you mean no, game? You can't tell me no. We've got to take the propeller off now. Because that just slides off. Because this is prov providing all the force to the propeller and then it just connects to the engine there so anyway let's take this part out which looked to be fine it's just this part itself right here is damaged as well now let's see the front of the crankcase top engine cover looks like this is perfectly fine so i believe that's all we had to do let's go over to see if we can repair some of these parts shall we uh inventory i've got a spinner a spinner a back plate which is fine we've got the propeller which is also fine and we've got an air screw hub i believe that's what it says hub and we can't repair this so that that's sad let's go and replace this to old joe over here uh, replace this one that'll do then we assemble it Man, the lighting in this game is a bit wonky today. Now we assemble everything back together. Put the spinner plate back on. And I think that they did this, you know, manually uh, back in the day. They wouldn't have anything that would automatically take off all the nuts and bolts. Usually done by hand. Put the spinner back on and the, the screw cap there. Ironically, this aircraft is, is really, really handy to maintain. Most of it is made out of uh, wood, except for some of the, the parts of the frame. It, it's, it's such a good aircraft. If you ever get a chance to see one of these IRL, I highly recommend it. It, it, it is where 1930s aviation, it, it's just that's just what it is. And they're built to last, because um, everything's m easy to maintain and uh, pretty good. Anyway, we need to refuel the aircraft so everyone knows what that means. Probably skip this part to be honest. Right, I'm gonna put the ladder there, grab the hose, climb up the ladder, take off the fuel cap, and we're gonna put in in the hose again. God, refueling the aircraft is a tedious uh, thing to do. Anyway, let's get on the controls, fill her up. All right, we're done. I want to climb the ladder, not take the ladder. Put away the hose. Hit the plus thing. Put in the screw cap. Oh, down we go. Uh, put the hose away. And then let's pick up the ladder. And we're going to put it over here. Pretty monotonous. Goodbye, Davo. And we're basically done. That's a sign here. Ash. Quick and easy that one was. 
suspecting it to be a little more challenging. Let's do another one. Alright, what have we got today? Loading, please wait. Okay, check the undercarriage and refuel the aircraft. Uh, there's going to be a lot of landings today. Make sure that the undercarriage is in good condition. Okay, sir. Get out my investigative tool. Let's crouch. And the interesting thing about the landing gear is, well, you've, you've only got a couple of parts. There's a compression leg. They're fine. The wheel's damaged. We have to replace all the wheels. Uh, but again, just going up to each of the, the points here, you should be able to repair the whole entire undercarriage. So this, this, the undercarriage is the, the item in which uh, attaches to the bottom of the aircraft. It allows you to land. Shush, Spitfires, I'm talking here. Um, so yeah, we've got to replace these wheels. And the other part of the undercarriage is basically this as well. So can I get on the ground? Okay, I can crawl. Okay, so there isn't any other identification uh, as to what we can do. So, I believe we're going to need something to jack up the aircraft because we can't get those wheels undone. Remember, we did that in the first mission. So, let's put the jack under here. Let's wind her up. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. It's, it's a bit of a wonky control. It's one of the things I didn't like about th that particular jack thing. So, you've got to do circles with your mouse. There isn't really a, an alternate control. What's this? A bucket and a mop. Can I see? Can I see into the other? Actually, I can climb this ladder. That's right. We had a look over here before. Ah, oh, it's such a pretty aircraft, isn't it? Anyway, I'll never, I'll never get over that. Okay. Uh, what, what is this blue toolbox thing? Just spares. Okay. Um, and this is a jack. So I guess we shove this under here, don't we? Great, now we can access the whole entire aircraft now, considering the air... I think... Is that really that stable, though? I suppose you've got the bit of wooden plank uh, supporting the undercarriage here. So I don't think it will rock too much. We'll be fine. Alright. Let's go and un undo this... Um, tail skid one two three four unscrew unscrew it's going to be a lot of unscrewing and rescrewing that's for sure right. ah, bright <laughs> I wasn't expecting to get blinded like right there <laughs> Christ All right, that's this tail skid done let's take off the wheels This would take off the wheel caps. So that involves undoing all the screws. Go over the other side and we shall do the same. While we magically unscrew screws on, on two sides at once. Not too hard. Alright, now yeah, go on here. Take this off. And take this off. Alright, we've got the wheels off. Um, I don't think there was anything else we needed to do. Yeah, no. Okay, cool. Let's go to the replacement parts. I'm going to replace that and replace the wheels. Uh, actually, I, I, could, I could see if I'm going to repair these, because that will cost me some stuff. Inventory. Status damaged. Can I re repairable? No. Damn it. I was hoping to play that little mini game. I like the mini game. <laughs> sure, it is a little bit repetitive. That'll do. All right. Hit the plus button. Install the hubcap and all the screws, and it's just quick and easy. The thing that they forget about this game is how much paperwork you actually have to do. There's so much you have to sign off on. Wheel cap in. There we go. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I say that word too much. Alright, let's go put the tail skid on. Tail skiddy. I don't think this one can do donuts though. 
All right, uh, and there we go. We've, we've checked the undercarriage, and we're done. Now we've got we've got the monotonous task of, you guessed it, refueling the aircraft. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the, once that's finished. I'll go to the other side. Is that done? Do I? Uh, I have to still do it in though. Whoops, 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 whoops. No, nope. put it back in. Put the screws back in. Yeah, you stupid apprentice. <laughs> and why can't I take out this particular jack? Do I have to lower the aircraft? I think I have to do. Anyway, let's do that, shall we? Come on, select it. Oh, it's so finicky. Then I make O shapes. Oop. Let's go put this over here in very specific location which it doesn't know where it is there it goes then we can take out this one ah! why am I on top of the aircraft okay game you do you I'm just gonna just gonna put you back there <laughs> and let's just admire the pretty Spitfires Nothing's wrong with this game at all. It is a little bit buggy. It is early access. There are things that are going to happen that it doesn't like. Right. And we know the old drill. Fill her up, governor. Right. Place her as close to the airframe as possible. Grab the hose. Jump up the ladder. I think this is a rinse and repeat process. Undo the filler cap. Insert your hose. Jump, jump off the ladder for your, your dear life. Activate the controls. Fill her up. We're done. We're done, skis. I need that ladder. Put that ladder back. Stop stealing my ladder. All right. Put the hose away. And put the filler cap back on. Put the hose back away in its particular space. And see you later, Davo. I'm climbing the ladder again. Regardless, I think we can just sign it off here. We can. Done. Done, skis. And we're already halfway to being an aircraftman uh, first class. Over halfway now. Let's do another one. These, these are fun. These are easy. I like this. It's 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 difficult. Um, to explain the happiness that this game gives me. Check all spark plugs and refuel the aircraft. Okay, some elements like spark plugs are part of larger assemblies. This can be removed altogether, which will be covered later. For now, remember that clicking on an assembly once selected will allow you to move its parts. Okay, simple, pretty, pretty straightforward. I'll open both cowlings. In fact, uh, where is it? This one. Then we are going to need. No. What do you mean, no? You have, do I have to take that bottom part off? It looks like I will have to. Okay, we're going to take this bottom plate off the bottom of the aircraft so we can get access to the spark plugs. Now, if you don't know what aviation spark plugs look like, there's one right here on screen. I've got several of them uh, lying around uh, at home. Um, and. And it, they, they just attach and considering that this aircraft is well it's, it's a gypsy motor so therefore it, it is quite sorry about that for some reason my browser just opened regardless the, the, the aviation engines in general are, are very strange and they come in different uh different assemblies so you've got Sorry about that, I had an abrupt phone call and I had to go take care of some business. Some elements like the spark plugs are a larger part of assemblies and these can be removed altogether which will be covered later. Uh, for now remember that clicking on an assembly once uh, will select it allowing you to remove its parts. You can deselect a parts assembly with the right mouse button. Fantastic, thank you tips. I've also had a very nice bowl of uh, white peaches in some yogurt and that was mm, delicious. Um, <clears throat> so I'm feeling full, uh, but let's go check the spark plugs and uh, prepare the aircraft. Um, 
God, though, those Spitfires flying over. You know, the more they do that, the more I want to go and fly LL2. In fact, I've got my VR device, for those of you who don't know. I've got a VR, I got given a VR headset by one of my patrons. Thank you, Scott, by the way. Uh, and he sent me this, this device, and I have been playing it, playing with it uh, a little bit. And I've got everything plugged in right now. And if this game was in VR, I'd be madly in love. <laughs> There's just no doubt about it. Anyway, let's go check the spark plugs. So, the first thing we're going to do, we'll take off the uh, left engine cowling. And we're also going to open up the right engine cowling while we're at it. Now, to check the spark plugs, we will need to identify where the spark plugs are. In fact, I found one right here. It's on the center of the, the screen. It's on the cylinder assembly block. For this, what we'll need to do is we'll need to unscrew all of the uh, ignition wires. We'll need to take off the uh, ignition wiring loom and then take out each individual um, spark plug. Keep in mind, there are two spark plugs per cylinder, so one for redundancy, um, and there's one on either side, as you can see, sort of just here. So, let's do that. So the first thing we'll need to do is we'll take off the bottom engine cowl. Actually, do we really need to take that off? If we're going to get the left engine cover off, I think it's necessary. So let's do that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Thankfully, I don't have to hold down any of the screws or anything like that. I think that's a major pain when it comes to this. Anyway, that bottom part should just come flying off. There it goes. It goes. I'm going to take the engine... Uh, cover off and now we've got access to basically this wonderful little uh, inline engine it's an inline four um, technically I'm pretty sure it's an inline four I'd have to check my um my aviation papers again because <laughs> again this is vintage aviation most general aviation aircraft use uh, horizontally opposed or um, inline and there's two other engine types which I was taught about and I've forgotten their names and it's really confusing. I failed the module uh, with engine identification uh, because it gets really confusing and there is a lot of terms between uh, different engine types. And this is only related to your liquid, you know, regular um, fuel-based uh, combustion engines, not your turbos, um, turbojets, uh, turbofans, all, all those, you know, jet en engine aircraft. But... It also has nothing to do with any of the radial aircraft or any of the V um, cylinder looking engines. And I sound like a complete and utter, utter twat. But anyway, let's take off the ignition wires. One, two, three, and four. And we've taken that one off. Okay, cool. Now we'll go over to the other side here. Excuse me. Note to self edit that out. Uh, now we're also going to take off these ignition wires as well. That assembly comes off, and now we go into the inspection mode. Okay, we've got a damaged spark plug here. One, one that's fine here. One that's fine there. That one's fine. That one's fine. This one is also in, in pristine condition. That one's fine as well. And we need to take out all of them because it says check uh, all of them. So I wish the guys in the background would stop talking. That is a sound effect, by the way. And we're just going to unscrew this one. There we go. Let's do it multiple, multiple at once. Let's take all of them out. Uh, we're on the right here, come on. Alright, we are. This is going to be a pain, they are a pain to click on. This game can be a bit tedious when clicking on certain aircraft parts. You have to go uh, right click off that assembly. And then take out each of the spark plugs. Alright, there we are. I think we've taken out all of them. Double check that. Yes, we have. Okay. Let's see if we can go repair one. So I love playing that uh, inventory. Damaged. One is damaged. Okay, we'll need, to, we'll need to replace that. We can't repair that. And sign here. That'll do. 
And now we just go put them all back in. I've actually got several of these um, uh, spark plugs. They, they, they're just, you know, spark plugs with an isolating shield around them. So as you can see, they're a rather big, chunky unit and they screw right in. Um, instead of having, like, a regular spark plug on uh, general automotive, where they have one-sided pin uh, for sparking, on these, uh, they actually have two um, little points at which it sparks. So if one side fails or gets corroded, you've still got a, an ignition source. It's sort of like a, um, a dual dual purpose um, spark plug as well as being out of aluminium and, and, and some sort of composite material which doesn't burn when you know it's igniting every you know a couple of however anyway we've task completed check all the spark plugs so let's put everything back together all right, that one's installed come on that one this is really tedious it's gonna it's only gonna get worse as I've gotten myself up to the uh, the first or second Spitfire mission, um, decided to restart the campaign. That was a few days ago. Um, all right, now we can put. I think we can put everything back in. Yes, we can. Two. Come on, click. There we go. Four, and then we're going to put the aircraft panel back on. Come on. One. Slide that in. Put the bottom cowling back in. And while we're going to do that, we're going to go to the other side. I'm going to put all the ignition wires in. While my magic uh, monkey down the bottom is screwing up the rest of the panels. Right, there, we're done. Close that up. One, two. Go over the other side and do the same. I wish servicing aircraft was this easy. <laughs> And now, we're just going to take out a task sheet, refuel the aircraft. Pretty self-explanatory, really. <laughs> I don't know how many more times I'm going to have to refuel the aircraft, but it, it, is, it is tedious, it is annoying, but uh, that's part of servicing, really. It never really gets old. Undo the camp. And considering I worked uh, for Qantas for six months, um, a, little, a little while ago, it, 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 it was... It was a good time. I enjoyed it. So I've got qualifications in aviation maintenance. Right, there we go. Task completed. Refuel the aircraft. And we put the hose away. Hit the plus symbol. Put the cap in. Run back down to old Dave over here. I'm just going to call him Dave because look, he just runs. He just runs off. It's like the, he's a ghost at this point. Just starts driving away. Go right. And put the. Uh, we don't even have to put the ladder back, we can just sort of stand on top here. And we can watch the Spitfires go by. God, the sound of these guys. That's what I want to do. I hopefully one day that this game will have uh, a flying ability in it, like a 303 Squadron in a way. Alright. Let's pick up the ladder. I've got OCD and put it put it away, and we're done. So, <laughs> thank you for watching me tediously refuel the aircraft constantly and do a couple of other bits and bobs. I hope you've enjoyed uh, the second video of Plane Mechanic Simulator. If you're liking uh, these videos, do let me know in the comments down below. If you have any suggestions on how I can spruce them up, or may maybe I can start reading off some of my old aviation notes again and start rambling about aviation engines and shit again. That'd be good fun. I might I might actually start doing that because I enjoy this and I actually miss doing it because it was incredible fun. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. My, my name's Ash and I better sign this document. Catch you in the next one.